with eyes more keen than any mere mortal, and tenacity only attainable by those who command time itself. The Chrono Tyrant arrogantly soars through the skies, seeking the greatest treasure of them all. Welcome to another episode of Monster of the Week. This week, we're taking a look at a master of time and space. I'm talking about the Chrono Tyrant. We're going to talk about what it is, what their abilities are, some possible plot hooks for your game, and as always, some modifications and variants for the monster. Chrono Tyrants are found in the Fiend Folio. They were never printed outside of 3rd edition, which is a shame because they're actually very interesting. Essentially, a Chrono Tyrant is a giant black bird with adamantine feathers and scaly humanoid arms. They have resistance to all damage types except for necrotic, and they are straight up immune to sonic damage. On account of their adamantine feathers, they also have resistance to all weapons that are not made of adamantine. The only gear it uses is a harness designed to carry any magical items that the Chrono Tyrant has crafted or deemed useful enough to bring with it. They also have an array of tendencies and powers that you won't find anywhere else. And by the time we're done here, I'm sure you're going to be looking for a way to put one of these things in your game. But before we get into what the Chrono Tyrant can actually do, we need to talk about what drives them, because a lot of their abilities and powers are reflected by their motivations. Originally, Chrono Tyrants come from the plane Asheron, the infinite battlefield. They have since been scattered throughout the plains. They are extremely intelligent, and they put that intelligence to work seeking as much knowledge on any subject that they can dig up. One of its innate powers is actually to cast Detect Magic as if it was a level 20 caster, thus helping it find the powerful knowledge and relics that it seeks. Essentially, the Chrono Tyrant lives to expand its mind. This could range from searching for ancient lore long lost to any living civilization, to engaging in combat with a creature it's never seen before, just to see what it can do. Speaking of a Chrono Tyrant's mind, it has two of them. To be more precise, it has two brains. To go with its twin brains, it has twin voice boxes. Due to this strange physiology, a Chrono Tyrant is more than capable of having two completely separate conversations at the same time. However, when it is focused on one conversation, its second voice box often echoes each word that the first voice speaks. How crazy is that? It would even be possible for a Chrono Tyrant to have the same conversation with a group of creatures speaking in two separate languages at the same time. This would be really useful if not everyone in the room speaks a common language. In addition to the utility of having two voice boxes, describing something as speaking with a multitude of voices, even if it's only two, is a great way of making your players feel uneasy without actually doing anything threatening. It really just perpetuates the sense that this creature is alien and not from their world. Having two brains allows the Chrono Tyrant to do a lot more than just freak out your players though. The Chrono Tyrant is the only creature I know of that flat out just gets an extra turn every single round. That's right, a Chrono Tyrant gets two rounds worth of actions every single turn. A great way to let the players figure out what's happening on the Chrono Tyrant's turn without just telling them that he gets two sets of actions is by having the Chrono Tyrant cast two spells and explain that each of the voices is uttering a separate set of command words. It creates a good moment and they'll get what's happening almost immediately. Speaking of spells, let's talk about what spells this monster can cast. As innate spells, the Chrono Tyrant can cast Blink, Feeble Mind, Teleport, Displacement, Time Stop, Iron Body, Plane Shift, and Temporal Stasis. As you can see, its innate spells focus a lot around time and space manipulation, and this is how a Chrono Tyrant is going to solve most of its problems. Also, in combat, the fact that it can teleport anywhere it wants, and then it gets a full turn of actions is crazy. And if it gets into a deadly situation where there's no escape, it can easily plane shift and then teleport very, very far away, adding two layers of spells the players have to get through before they can actually catch up with him. Now that said, your players could certainly disable these abilities, but without knowing what it's capable of beforehand, it's doubtful they'll have those spells ready. This makes the Chrono Tyrant perfect for a recurring villain. In addition to its innate spells, every Chrono Tyrant also has access to magic as if it were a 12th level sorcerer. And this is where each Chrono Tyrant becomes unique. There are suggestions in the book for what spells a Chrono Tyrant might have, and if you just want to throw one of these guys into your games as an encounter, feel free to just use that. However, if you want to make your Chrono Tyrant more unique, you can use whatever spells you want. The spells you give your Chrono Tyrant should reflect where it's been and what knowledge it's dug up. For example, a Chrono Tyrant that spent most of its life on the elemental planes is going to have access to mostly elemental spells, whereas a Chrono Tyrant that has spent more of its time in celestial or infernal realms is going to have access to more divine or demonic powers. You could even give him custom spells if you wanted to. It's very possible he dug up some spells from a lost civilization that no one has even thought of in millennia. All magic 
powers aside though, the Chrono Tyrant is still a large adamantine clad creature, and it makes use of those wings with an ability called Feather Flurry. Doesn't sound so bad at first, but from 60 feet away, a Chrono Tyrant can unleash a flurry of sharp adamantine feathers that slice and cut its target. If it comes down to it, a Chrono Tyrant can even use its massive beak and claws to inflict serious damage up close. It's unlikely that this will ever be necessary, but should the situation call for it, the giant bird of prey has no qualms about getting up close and personal. Should the Chrono Tyrant find itself surrounded, it has one other trick up its sleeve as well. It can unleash a blood-curdling sonic screech in a 20-foot radius around itself. The wave of sound can cause immense damage on a failed save, and will cause structures and buildings to collapse around it. And if you want to give this ability an extra kick, you could even make it cause deafness on a failed save for a certain number of rounds if you wanted to. Chrono Tyrants are already very powerful, so any modifications you make should be made with care. But that said, here are some crazy modifications. As some of you may know, I'm a big fan of taking the signature ability of a creature and just turning it up to 11. And for the Chrono Tyrant, its signature ability that separates it from all the other monsters is the fact that it has two brains and basically gets two turns. So how can we make that even more powerful? What if there was some kind of Chrono Tyrant matriarch that had developed four brains? And yes, got four turns. Something like that would be insanely powerful, but could make an awesome big bad villain for a high level game. If you set it up right so the players know why the Chrono Tyrants speak with two voices, when they hear tell of a Chrono Tyrant speaking with four voices, they should immediately know what to expect. And yes, they should also immediately be terrified. Chrono Tyrants don't always have to be the bad guys though. A Chrono Tyrant could easily be a quest giver, offering the party magical items in exchange for delving into an ancient ruin to retrieve an old forgotten tome. Maybe the Chrono Tyrant is too busy to do it himself, or he finds it too dangerous, so instead of risking himself enlists the help of players. It could even turn out that the tome they bring to the Chrono Tyrant contains some esoteric piece of ancient knowledge that allows the Chrono Tyrant to achieve even greater power. If the Chrono Tyrant starts using this new power for evil, the players might feel like it's their responsibility to take him down. Or it could just be a harmless giant bird monster giving the players a side quest. That's totally up to you. It could also be possible that one of the items being offered to the players is a key item for your campaign. So then the players can either fight the Chrono Tyrant and try to take it from him, or do what he wants and hope that he'll honor his side of the bargain. Even if you just have a Chrono Tyrant in your campaign as an NPC, they can make really interesting interactions. I feel like a Chrono Tyrant would make a great keeper of an ancient library on some distant plane. But regardless of how you use the Chrono Tyrant, whether it be friend, foe, or something in between, it's sure to be a memorable encounter that will leave a lasting impact on your players. So that's all for today. I'd love to hear your plans for the Chrono Tyrant or any experiences you've had with them, either as a player or a DM. Either way, please leave a comment below and we can further discuss these monstrosities. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. I have at least one new video every week, hence Monster of the Week. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.